Hey, what's going on guys? Neil here bringing you a brand new video. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Today I wanted to bring you a video on altcoins to watch for 20 and a few things I'm looking out for as well as some personal price predictions. So getting right into it, here we have the total market capitalization dominance. So as you can see, Bitcoin's sitting at about a 62.67% dominance for total market. That basically means that Bitcoin is 62%. 0.67% of the entire crypto market. And Ethereum sitting at 13.65, and then a few other points are also on this chart. So, what does all this mean? I think it's important to look at this because I believe um, Ethereum can potentially test up to 20% of the market cap. And I think it's important to look at these support and resistance levels. I think there's a key support level here around 58. And I think we're going to come back down to retest this level at some point. And that should be interesting for altcoins. As you can see, during the 2017 run, we got all the way down to, or the yeah, 20, late 2017, early 2018 run, I guess it was, um, was, as you can see, extremely rapid. You know, this was, you know, one month time period. You know, we went from Bitcoin having almost 70% dominance all the way down to half of that. So as you guys know, the altcoin market can move extremely quickly. So be prepared for that. And it's important to also take profits, and I'll be making another video on that completely separate. I was going to include that in this video, but it's a whole other topic and a different strategy that I want to cover as well. Um, it's how to take profits really on any investment, especially altcoins um, in an extremely volatile market. So I just want to talk about Metcalf's Law real quick before going into my top altcoins right here. Um, basically, Metcalf's Law has been used to track things like Facebook and the Internet's growth. And what it means is that the growth of networks is driven by the number of connections. So the more connections allow for more growth and can be mapped out with a single mathematical equation. So why is that important for crypto and Ethereum? Basically, if you look at ETH network size, the number of connections and trajectory of price, Metcalf's law is being repeated once again with Ethereum. In fact, Ethereum is exceeding that of Bitcoin's movement, but this may be an application of Metcalf's law with regards to cryptocurrencies in general. The more people that integrate cryptos into their lives, the more people that the more that cryptos are being accepted and that growth continues to push crypto in general. Ethereum's movements may be simultaneously both cause a both a cause and effect of the network economics of the crypto network. So basically, if Ethereum actually does repeat Bitcoin's movements, Ethereum will hit 20k. So this is really interesting thought to have and something to keep in mind. Um, you guys can check out Metcalf's law. Obviously, this is technical analysis. None of this is set in stone, but it definitely is something interesting to think about as all the ERC-20 tokens that are being developed below Ethereum um, are giving it a lot of use case. And I, I can see the network size grow, and you can have all these statistics out there in the open on the blockchain, which is awesome. So definitely something to keep in mind. So getting right into it, my top altcoins for 2021. I'm going to try to keep everything brief and to the point. Tell you why I like them, a brief overview, and then some price predictions at that. So we have Ethereum as the first one. This is obviously a no-brainer, probably not a surprise to most of you guys. It's a decentralized computing platform. Uh, ETH 2.0 is also coming soon, which is going to increase the speed, efficiency, scalability of the ETH network, also going to allow for easy staking of Ethereum. There's a bunch of ERC-20 tokens built on Ethereum like we just talked about. It created smart contracts, and Ethereum is kind of seen, seen as betting on the network of you know, blockchain and cryptocurrencies when it comes to the overall market. So moving on, next we have REN. It's the first and only open protocol to provide access to inner blockchain liquidity for all decentralized applications, unlocking new liquidity, new liquidity and resources to power a new wave in the open finance movement. And REN has a sub-1 billion market cap, and as you guys probably know as well, DeFi tokens are trending right now. They are what's hot. Next is going to be another DeFi token, Link. So a decentralized Oracle network that provides smart contracts to enable the sending of payments from the contracts to bank accounts and payment networks. Smart contracts are pre-specified agreements on the blockchain that evaluate information automatically execute when a certain conditions are met. So this is really important. Link has been a top pick of mine for a while now. And like I said before, DeFi tokens are trending. They have a lot of potential use case, in my opinion. There is a limited use case right now, but since we don't really live in a decentralized world, especially in finance, at least not yet, you know, the more we push towards decentralization, 
the more these tokens will have actual use case, but right now it's a lot of speculation. The next is going to be Uni or Uniswap. It's the leading decentralized crypto exchange that runs on the Ethereum blockchain. It's compatible with ERC20 tokens, has automated liquidity pro protocol, and it has a great use case for liquidity providers and traders wanting unique ERC20 tokens. I myself have used Uni Uniswap. I think it's a great um, exchange that's completely decentralized. You can be a liquidity provider. You can trade. has a lot of built-in wallets. Um, and a lot of cool features to check out. So I highly recommend you check out their exchange as well. And it's just kind of the largest exchange right now. So another big player in the DeFi space. LRC or Loopring. It's another Ethereum-based token. Decentralized crypto exchange. It has about 50 to 200 million day trading volume. Um, I believe LRC is another sub $1 token currently. So a lot smaller market cap than Uni or Uniswap. So there's a lot of room to grow. Aave or formerly known as ETH Lend. It's a DeFi protocol for lending and borrowing crypto. Lenders can earn interest by depositing digital assets in the specifically created liquidity pools. Borrowers can then use their crypto as collateral to take out a flash loan using this liquidity. That's the first uncollateralized loan option in the DeFi space. It was a project that's been around for a while and has one of the highest values locked into its protocol. So definitely something to keep your eye on. Wi-Fi or Yearn Finance, it's an aggregator service for DeFi investors using automation to allow them to maximize profits by yield farming. It's really aiming to simplify the DeFi space for less serious traders. So if you're a beginner and want to kind of learn more about DeFi and yield farming and staking, this could be a great way for you. And it's going to be optimizing your returns for a beginner, but it's really simple at the same time. On the other side of that would be SNX, which is a derivative, derivatives liquidity protocol on Ethereum that enables the issuance and trading of synthetic assets. Each synthetic asset is an ERC20 token. So this allows for deriv derivative trading in DeFi, and you can stake your SNX as well. And like I said, staking is gaining major popularity. People are starting to realize you can stake and be a liquidity provider and earn interest on your crypto pretty simply, obviously. So people are definitely going to start hopping into the space, and I think these protocols are going to have a lot of space to grow. XLM. So this is Stellar Lumens, one that's actually not in the DeFi space. It's an open source blockchain payment system. It allows for financial institutions to be connected via the blockchain and provide cheap transactions in a developing market. Um, I feel like this could be still kind of like an underrated play from, you know, 2017, 2018. And they still do have a lot of uh, major space or a major place in the space, in my opinion. And it's not really necessarily decentralized finance, but we need a way uh, for stable coins and just basically open blockchain payments to be uh, easy in a developing market from overseas to financial institutions. I think this will be huge for the actual use case of crypto in general. You know, a lot of people see crypto as a store of value, but it's really easy to transact with, send overseas you know, with, you know, it going through the blockchain and being confirmed, it's really an amazing technology. So if we can get that to be used by institutions overseas, I think that's going to continue to develop the market. And as we know, you know, more banks and everything are entering the space with stable coins and they're allowed to custody digital assets now in the United States. So this should be interesting moving forward. So let's get to a few price predictions. Obviously take this with a grain of salt. This is just my opinion or what I think could potentially happen. Obviously, things can change instantly. You can lose all your money in crypto. All these altcoins could go to zero. So keep that in mind. But with that being said, I believe that Bitcoin will go to 100,000 plus this year. Uh, being that we already hit 50,000, that would just be a 2x from here. I think that's pretty reasonable in my opinion. Uh, Ethereum, I'm going to throw out 10,000. Uh, a lot of people are saying 20,000 as a Metcalf's law, which I talked about earlier. But if we get to 0.1 of the Bitcoin and, and Bitcoin's, you know, 100,000, we're going to be at 10,000 plus. So I'm going to put the Bitcoin price because I think it's really important. I'll talk about this in profit taking to be thinking about the Bitcoin price as well. Uh, and that's where I'm getting a lot of these kind of price predictions is comparing them to Bitcoin, what I could think they could grow to in terms of Bitcoin price and looking at their chart history in the last 2017, 2018 Bitcoin run. That's where I'm getting a lot of these numbers from. So Ren, I'm going to put that at 0.000 
0.004 BTC or $4. Link 100, 0.001 BTC. Uniswap 80, 0.008 BTC. XLM $2, 0.0002 BTC. Yearn Finance, I think it's going to be equivalent to 1 plus BTC. It already has gone above Bitcoin's price, so 100,000 plus. Loopring or LRC, $3, 0.0003 BTC. SNX or Synthetics, about 100, 0.001 BTC. And then Aave, 1500 or 0.015 BTC, which I think it's already been to that price level before, 0.015. So I think it'll continue to grow with the markets. So I wanted to thank you guys all for watching. And if you guys made it to the end of the video, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, all that good stuff. Share the video with a friend. All that stuff helps a lot. I'm aiming to get partners, so I need 1,000 subs and 4,000 hours of watch time. So I'm definitely trying to grind and be consistent with that. If you guys want to be more active in my community, definitely join my Discord down below. And check out the affiliate links below if you want free stocks or free crypto. There's a lot of free uh, promotions out there, and all you have to do is really create an account. So if you guys need any help with that, definitely let me know. And don't sleep on that. You can get up to $250 with BlockFi, you know, free stocks, free Bitcoin with a bunch of other platforms as well. So I appreciate everyone for sticking to the end, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.